All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. It is time for Lost at Sea as part of the road most traveled. And I'm going to be on Front Street here. I don't do this quest that often. Uh, it's kind of become like a one every two or three lives run for me, which I feel is pretty justified uh, in this positioning. But because we're level 17, right at the beginning, <laughs> right at the beginning of... Uh, the Sharn goodness. Uh, and this is technically part of the Sharn saga. We're going to go ahead and knock it out. Under the sea. All about me. Now, I only know a couple of ways to get through this quest. I know there's like a weird jumpy, jumpy optional thing where you can sacrifice a guy and do the things. I, I am not super adept at that particular scenario here here underwater encased in a magical bubble of air a war forge waves you over no doubt she's one of the crew sent to salvage the ship's cargo don't the take cold says huh that dangerous creatures threaten their salvage operation You'll be doing them a favor. don't like that idea that they don't take cold so we just kill them That'll work for now. All right, let's, uh, we still want the rat catcher. Let's, uh, let's try the whirling words and we'll switch to sonic damage since we're not. Oh yeah. Underwater creatures love sonic or uh, electric damage. And then the whirling words, of course, we'll just We'll just kill them with knowledge. Uh, Whirling Words gives bludgeoning damage. So it's not like you can... Uh, you can ignore that. We're walking around this way because there's a little optional by walking up through the middle of this ziggurat over here. And I'm all about free experience violently. that doesn't Creating take... Unnatural eddies. Uh, and a bunch Something of extra time must be causing these dangerous kinds. Now that this ritual site has been dealt with, the Sahuagin can no longer. Right, so now we have to go over here to the, the boats. Hey, Thakar, welcome back, buddy. Glad to have you. Going full on slaughter, so Angwin mode. So now we gotta go touch the boats. But there's no sign of Vaunt's cargo. The Sahuagin must have hauled it away. Fortunately for you, they left a trail of debris leading away from the ship when they stole the goods. And just have them swim at us, bro. Help her a little ways back here. We're gonna take the highest ground. We're just gonna shoot all these guys. Not gonna not gonna screw around and try to do anything cute. We're just gonna shoot them from as far away as we possibly can and have them come at us. Things get dangerous, we'll no holds barred and make them go away. In my book, there is zero chance to take any risk unnecessarily right now. Containers salvaged from the sunken ship surround the entrance to this underwater cave. But none have Vaughn's mark on them. The Sahuagin must have taken Vaughn's cargo inside the cave. You step out of the water and into cool cave air. It seems that the Sahuagin have 
created some sort of magical barrier to keep the ocean at bay. Alright, so again, I know there's like another way around this quest. Um, besides the way that I would have taken. This, the way I go is kind of like the brute force, force method. Um, the other way is like a lot of jumping and fighting wind gusts and uh, squirreling around. I just... Oh no, not a boot that life. Alright, come up here. Take again the highest ground we possibly can. Ice storm, or uh, web and ice storm. Were applicable. And then just shoot guys in their faces. But again, if Obi-Wan taught us anything, is that how can we possibly be defeated? We have the high ground. We are in Lost at Sea. I suppose that's fair. Give this guy the power of all the knowledges. So we, again, like I said, we brute forced, our, bruised, bruised, brood? brute forced, hey, I found the word, brute forced our way through. Here's a, a shrine that we're not going to worry about. And now we come to, like, a, a, the big open area that's actually pretty cool uh, here. So you're the your big cave with a small pool of water and a and a boat underwater. With the quartermaster uh, dead, the pirates will no longer be able to use this cave as a base. And you have all these bad guys way over there that we can just like range down. Power of knowledge, look at the books go. Of course there's a little adventure pack down in the water. And then we just come back over here. You can go around the other end of the boat. Oh, there's just more trash. But you can melee everything, so. Pick your, pick your poison there, I guess. Uh, I also think we can switch into, switch back to cold damage and pick up just a little bit more DPS here. Uh, this is the quote-unquote infight. We'll get your, get your machine guns lined up. People back in Sean Arena. I'm trying to figure out why some of my damage does not seem to be going off. I 
like I'm seeing animations, but no. Finally, take a no fire. All right. So here's the loot. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, not today, not for us, but uh, a couple of those things. And then here's the item for the inquest. You've recovered the mysterious Pretty simple. And you can take this uh, escape portal, and it'll take you to that Whatever. beginning of the cave that we were at before. So. If you ran past all these monsters into the cave, they'll be sitting out here waiting for you. But if you cleared like we did, then there's no reason to bother. But also, there's no reason to bother generally unless you to escape, unless you have a bunch of mobs angry. So that's Lost at Sea. Short, simple, quick, easy. 15,000 experience for, looks like just under 10 minutes. And, uh,. Yeah, it's just a, a sweet little one. The first part, the kind of introduction to Sharn, and you'll need it for the uh, you'll need it for the saga unless you're a VIP and you can you can skip around. So, All right, I hope you have a, a great time. Uh, thumbs up the video if you can, and uh, we'll see you next time. Toodles.